back to my video, I'm Jace and today I'm going to be doing something different from what I usually do. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be transforming my old clothes into something new. And for info, I'm not very good at doing DIY, so let's just hope that I don't screw things up. And without further ado, let's just move on and save some money. Alright, so the very first piece of clothes that I'll be transforming is a very simple cropped pullover. Literally anyone in the world can do it also. So the top that I'm using is an oversized pullover that I got from Cotton at a very very cheap price. <laughs> That's a steel girl. <laughs> okay, then you'll need a pair of scissors. I recommend you guys to get a fabric scissors so it'll make your life much more easier. But if you're on a budget like me, you can just use like a normal scissors. Just that it's going to make your life much more difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure. Then you'll need a ruler and a paper clip. So once you have all this material, you'll need to know how short you want your shirt to be. So I already know how short I want it to be. It's like literally 32 cm. So I'll just use the ruler and measure it and then use the paper clip to do the marking. So once I have done the step, I'll move on and fold my shirt into half. I would recommend you guys to leave like 1 to 2 cm longer just in case you might find it a bit too short but I'm very sure that the length that I want it to be is definitely correct literally 100% positive okay so I just go ahead and cut along the paper clip alignment and yeah that's it now that I'm done this is like the finished product of my crop top I knew it that I'm wrapped the length I want is literally correct. Okay, so moving on, the next shirt that I'll be transforming is a lace up crop top. And the top that I'm using is from Cotton On. It's a very simple v-neck top. So the things that you'll need is a pair of scissors, a ruler, glue, strings, and a lace full of holes. I'm not sure what do you call that, but whatever, I just call it a lace hole. Uh, I got this item from like in case if you guys are wondering where do I get these things from then moving on you are going to go ahead and start cutting the top first I'm going to repeat the same step as the previous top that I did so once I'm done cutting the top here comes the troublesome part you're gonna start tracing the lace hole along the collar make sure it's even on both sides and then you're gonna cut the lace so once you are done cutting the lace, you apply the glue on the lace and then paste it along the collar and then leave it to dry. So for my glue, it dries instantly. Since I don't have to wait for it to dry, I can just go ahead and poke a hole through the eyelet. Uh, apparently my string is not that long, so I'm just gonna like poke a few holes. Make sure it's long enough for me to tie a mini knot and that's good enough. And voila, I'm finally done with my lace up crop top. Isn't it sexy? Ah! Alright, so next up, I'm going to transform my plain top into a twisted crop top. Side note, it's better to use a longer top. Not like mine, it's not long enough for sure. Then you're gonna need a pair of scissors and ruler. So first step, you're gonna turn your shirt to the back and mark how crop you want your shirt to be. Then cut off a big rectangle. Make sure you only cut the sides and straight across the back. And ta-da! That's it. That's the finished product of the twisted cropped top. <laughs> okay, just kidding. There's just one more step though. The last step you're gonna do is to put on the shirt. Then you hold on to the two long bits of the shirt and then wrap it around your waist apparently the shirt that I'm using is not long enough to tie a knot but well you guys get the idea right so here comes the very last piece of fabric that I'll be transforming and I promise you guys this is gonna be really simple and unique but if it's not unique enough to you guys then I'm probably just a total loser okay that's kind of crap. So what I'm gonna use is a plain rip top and then a pair of scissors, ruler, glue and some crystal because I'm extra. <laughs> okay so apparently my shirt is not very long 
So I'll just go ahead and cut across the top but below the sleeve length then glue the top end of the fabric so it doesn't expose any cutting edges and ta-da! here's your seductive tube top definitely it's not enough for me that's why I need some crystal roll before I move on in case if you guys are wondering where did I get the crystal roll from I got it from Buy, and I'll be linking the link on my description box below so it will make your life much more easier using the crystal roll I'm just gonna cut it into half make sure it's equal length uh, because my crystal roll is not very long so I don't think there's any excess for me then I'm gonna use the ruler and measure where I want to place the crystal strap on so I'm just gonna stick to 6cm because my fabric is not very wide so once I've set where I want the strap to be placed on, I'll just use the glue and apply it on the crystal, then paste it on the fabric for both sides of the crystal strap. Then I'm just gonna leave it for like 10 minutes or so, just in case it haven't fully absorbed yet because crystal and fabric. I don't know how to explain the size behind it, but it's just to make sure that it stick well. Okay, then I'm just gonna wait like a loser. Like, literally. One eternity later. Okay, so once it's dry, I'm just gonna put on the shirt and see how long I want the crystal roll to be. So if there's any excess, I'm just gonna cut the strap off before I glue another end of the strap onto the fabric. So once you know how long you want the strap to be, yeah, you just repeat the same step, glue it and then leave it for 10 minutes and then come back and then try it on. Ah. Alright, so I'm finally done waiting and so here's my last finishing product. It's actually one of my favorite, that's why I leave it to the end. And also because of the sparkle, oh my god, overall it's it's actually very sexy and cute. I'm loving the sparkle man. Alright, so that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoy this DIY. Like I do, of course. Yep. So like this video if you guys enjoy it. But if you guys don't enjoy it, just like it anyway. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yay! I am done. I am done. I'm finally done after tons of NG.